Hello. I'm out here just tinkering. Um, I was going to start machining on this jaw a little bit, but the problem is I, I cut all the sprues and everything off this way. It looks like that. With the cast aluminum, if you cut third to half of the way down and just smack it with a hammer, it'll snap right off. But the I got all the flashing off of this thing and draw file at the bottom so got rid of some of the casting texture. What I need is a clamp to be able to clamp it on the shaper. Because I need to do this face, this face, this face, and this face all at one time without disturbing anything. The problem is if I do that, I can't clamp it. I could come in from the sides of the shaper and clamp it like this, but I'm obstructing this face. I could clamp it down here with a hole through it, but it obstructs this face. I've looked at the low profile clamps and I could take and put up a fence. I've already cut a piece of 3 8 bar to replace the one I was using. And I'll push this up against the front face of the shaper and have some clamps come in like a low profile clamp with set screws and just push up against it have it coming in at an angle so it comes pushes down and over at the same time so it holds it tight I've got some one inch round bar I don't have a square bar or anything like that so I'm just using some round stock and I'll machine a flat on the bottom so that it sets flat on the shaper table the mill and everything uses pretty much the same t-slot spacing just slightly different like I think a sixteenth of an inch difference so I'll be able to use it for both the lathe and shaper for machining castings Okay, let's go grab a piece of round bar and throw it in the saw and get started. squeaking sound, uh, the belt is starting to run up on the other pulley at the bottom, it squeaks at the bottom. I'll have to flip it upside down. I'm going to turn on the fan so it does blow some of this out of the way. from my heater so I don't get chips in it.
A nice smooth finish. Side. I gotta drill some holes, two holes here to match the middle of the T nuts, and drill four holes equally spaced apart on slight of an angle going downwards. This is a clamp, so it's gotta do down and in at the same time. I use set screws or bolts to tighten it up with. here to prop it up so it goes down at an angle. Now I'll drill in halfway with a quarter inch bolt or a hole for clearance. I'm going to do a quarter inch studs, four of them, so that it holds everything in place. I did the board on the back so it comes in at an angle. So when I'm tightening the stuff down in, it'll pull it down and in at the same time. So it'll really hold on to stuff. The chips were coming out of this hole over here. table down so it only goes about halfway at most. Go the quilt all the way down. That looks good right there. Now when I run the quilt all the way down it'll bottom out and it won't blow all the way through. That's how you set the depth stop on this. You just lower the table. should be good to go. I got two holes drilled through uh, here and here to line up with the T-slots. I'll show you here in a second. I got a heck of a burr on these, so... get through that one. I'll run the drill bit through all these again. But clearance hole on the tops, small ones, then two here to clamp it down to the table. 
just a very slight angle. Um, it's angle like this. So it'll clamp just the right angles they need. I'll extend this these bolt tools here out a little bit then I can fit it on the mill too because the T-slot lengths are about a sixteenth of an inch difference from the mill to the shaper Try to get this started, then I'll take it back out, oil it up really well, and then go through it real easy. A little tip if you put a hard drive magnet at the bottom of your oil can, it sticks to anything magnetic, and you don't have to worry about it falling over as easy. And we're through. Dang it. Now I just need to take some set screws, which the tripod's in the way in the drawer, but put some set screws in here and we'll put it on the table to see what it looks like. Okay, I've got the set screws all put in, all the way across. They're down at a slight angle, as you can see. But the holes are here so that they fit right on the T-nuts. But there's a little bit of play in the T-nuts, which I designed that for, but I can position it just a little bit to get the angle right. Still a little tight. But I'm not going to clamp this down right now, but I got all the flashing off of the vise. And when I go to machine it, I took a file and just draw filed it to get rid of the high spots and everything. But before I put it down, I'll put a piece of cardboard down like a cereal box. That way the, any rough texture from the casting won't affect this. I made a new fence for the front. It's 3 8 thick, so this should be more than adequate for this. Then I just push this up against, tighten these down I'm going to machine the sides off pretty a little bit into it so I don't care about set screw marks in it. But it's not going anywhere with just those two set screws. If I put all four tighten up all the way across, 
yeah, it's not going anywhere. I only use three because this is, yeah. It sticks out a little farther than the vise does. And I gotta have room to go across, down, and then over. So I gotta have it over just a little bit. First of all though, I gotta trim the side here square to this for the face to go set this as a reference surface. You get the idea of what I'm doing. That way this is square to this, so when I put it up against the fence, it'll be nice and square to everything. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya. I don't think this one's going to reach. Not with the ram and everything trying to get travel. So, I forged up this one. That one should do it. I'll take it into the grinder and just grind it flat on top and bottom so that I can clamp it, but it should be good to go. Just some spring steel that I forged up. Should do the job.